I hope you liked it and I hope this video actually helps you to decide if you actually want to mm, actually 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 what hey guys and welcome to my very first YouTube video so I've been meaning to do this for as long as I can remember but here we are finally with my very first video and I honestly hope that you guys would love it. Today's video is going to be centered around Miss Malaika. It's that time of the year again where beautiful ladies from every part of Ghana get to participate in the competition. For those of you who don't know what Miss Malaika is, Miss Malaika is actually a beauty pageant that is organized in Ghana. Every year, they organize auditions for young ladies between the ages of 18 to 25. At the end of the audition, they select a bunch of ladies who go through a grooming process, at the end of which one becomes a queen. Just like the title states, this video is my truth. For those of you who are contemplating whether they should go or not, this video is meant for you. Although I finally went for Malaika last year, I've been planning to go for Malaika for almost three years. Yes. There were a lot of instances where I woke up from bed on the day of audition and went right back to bed simply because I just wasn't feeling confident. Simply because I thought that you had to know someone to even be part of the pageant. Simply because I thought I had so many scars and just couldn't go now before i go any further this is a disclaimer this video is not sponsored by miss malaika although it talks about the pageant everything i say in this video is my view my experiences and things i've heard from my colleagues things i know would help you to decide if you want to be part of the pageant or not so here are some of the things i think you should know before you even think of joining the pageant first of all malaika gave me confidence a couple of years ago i would never have sat in front of a camera like this and speak to you as i am doing right now I was so afraid of my own shadow that I would literally run away from anything that has to do with communication or that has to do with talking to other people, even though I did communication studies. I was so afraid of communication. And now that I look at it, it was simply because I just wasn't confident. I used to think it was a cliche when people said, I'm here because I want to boost my confidence, blah, 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 when they go for Malaika auditions. But it was true. It did it for me. I'm a typical example of such statement secondly malaika gave me a sense of fashion it gave me a sense of class by going through the main processes of malaika i left the pageant much better than i was i left the pageant knowing how to act like a lady thirdly malaika gave me a support group that pushes me to achieve my dreams every now and then thanks to malaika I got to meet different kinds of people who genuinely followed me, liked my post. This video, for instance, I've had so many people in my DMs pushing me to actually do this. People who don't know me from Adam, people who've never met me, people who just think that I can be better. And this couldn't have been possible if I hadn't gone for Malaika. By going for Malaika, it kept me out there. It made me meet all these people. Some people who just think I'm cute, others who just think there's something special about me. So they push me every now and then. Last but not least, Malaika actually exposes you to a lot of things. Yes. For those of you who have never traveled, for those of you who have never met other people, for those of you who have never lived with other people, for those of you who have never been to certain restaurants, Malaika makes it possible. Now from the celebrities who are usually judges to visiting luxurious places, to eating at good restaurants, Malaika takes you through a journey. It takes you through an experience. Because it's a reality show, you get to visit a bunch of different places almost every weekend. And finally, almost every lady who has ever been in Malaika turned out great. Now, unlike most pageants in Ghana, Malaika doesn't let its delegates hang. Almost every lady who has ever been part of Malaika turned out great one way or the other. A typical example is Anita Ikufu and Bella Mundi, both of which did not win the pageant but are currently one of the big tv show hosts in ghana proudly products of miss malaika now i could go on and on and on but that would only make this video long so instead i'm going to jump in to the other negatives that you might think is preventing you from joining malaika someone might say that malaika is actually expensive which is true because throughout the pageant you actually have to vote for yourself though you meet a lot of people who genuinely vote for you because they like your personality or because they like what you're doing you still have to vote for yourself you still have to convince your family and friends to vote for you at all times which involves so much money 
now in this part and you can't actually rely on your family to vote for you. you can't rely on your friends to vote for you because usually even when your friends say they voted you go through their phones and probably it's two or three and this is something that has happened to me before so you have to constantly keep voting for yourself which is expensive but sweetheart if you're going to rely on the fact that it is expensive and just stay at home then how are you going to get that goal I had less than four friends, four or five friends when I was going for Malaika. I had no hope. Like my, fr I, I knew that, yes, my parents would vote for me, but how much? Would that be enough? But from nowhere, I had people voting for me like crazy. I had people who genuinely loved me and voted till the very day I got evicted. But if you're someone who has never been part of a beauty pageant, just like I was, it can be very, very hectic. I had never been part of a beauty pageant when I joined and I didn't know how it felt like to be in a competition with anyone. For someone who is constantly alone, who likes his space and like being alone, I found this very challenging. As I met people who were equally beautiful, people who were very smart, people who were very intelligent. And if you are not confident enough, if you're so afraid of your own shadow, you are likely to get lost in all that. But should that stop you? Hell no. If you don't go through that process, how do you intend to make it? Although the pageant looks like it's all fun and it's all joy, it is not always the case. The pageant can be so tiring. It can be so draining. There will be nights you will get home and you feel like crying because you're exhausted. Catwalk lessons takes all night. There are times that you have to stay late to get your cut work lessons in shape. There are times that you have to stay late to get your speech for the next day. There are times that you have to do all those things. But sweetheart, isn't that what this is about? You're not there to just have fun. You're there to be groomed. You're there to become a better version of yourself. So you should be able to go through the time. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you learned one or two things from it. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share, like, and don't forget to leave what you want me to do next in the comments section below. And for those of you who are still not convinced, it doesn't matter if you think you don't have the resources to go for this journey. It doesn't matter if the little voice in your head is telling you that you're not good enough or you're not beautiful enough or that you don't know anyone in the pageant. Wake up that day and go get it. For all you know, you could be the next queen. And if you go and you don't make it, sweetheart, try again. Don't be afraid of trying. Try and try until you get it. Until next time, bye.